Hi everybody, today I will show you how to create a sticky header in WordPress Elementor. Alright, so to create the sticky header, we have to install the two plugin. Okay, so first of all, let's just go inside the plugin. Click on the add new. Alright, so from here, we have to install the elements kit. Alright, so as you can see here, elements kit, Elementor add-on. So we have to install this. So I have already installed this, so I just need to activate this. Alright, so let's click on the add new. And we also have to install another plugin named by sticky menu. Okay, so as you can see the sticky menu and sticky header here. So we have to install this. So let's click on install. Let's just click on the activate. Alright, so now what we need to do. First of all, we have to create the header in the elements kit. So let's go inside the header in the footer. And from here we have to create the header. Okay. So let's click on the add new. So this will be sticky header and I want to activate this. I just click on the save changes. Alright, so now we have to edit our sticky header. So now let's click on the edit. Click on the edit content. And from here we can simply create our sticky header. Okay, so now let's click on the add new section. And from here I will simply go with the two column structure. Alright, so now let's go back. And first of all, I have to add the logo of the website. So I have to drag the image here. Let's just click on the tools image. And from the media library, you can insert the logo of your website. Alright, so let's click on the logo here. Click on the select. Okay, so we have the logo here. Now let's just click on the style. Because we have to decrease the size of our logo. 45% look fine. Okay. So now what we need to do, we have to add the menu here. So let's go back and write down the menu here. As you can see the elements kit name menu. So you have to drag this and put this here. Alright, so from here we can select the menu. So let's click on the select menu and we have our menu here. So let's select this. You will be able to see your menu here. Okay, so as you can see our menu here. Alright, so now let's click on the style. I have to change the menu height here. So this would be it. Alright, so now I have to change the color of the text of our menu. So this would be white color. Okay, so now we have the white color. Alright, so now I have to change the background color of our container or the section. So I have to click here. And from here, I will simply change the color of our background. So that would be the black color. Alright, so now this is looking fine. Now I have to do some alignments here. So let's click on our logo here. Click on the content. So I have to align this into the left side. Now this is looking fine. And now let's just click on the menu. Click on the content. And from here, I would like to align this into the center. Alright, so now this is looking okay. And now I have to add the button as well. So let's go back and drag the button and we have to put this here. Alright, so now what I need to do, I have to put this along with the menu, not under the menu. So what we need to do, I will simply click on the edit container or the column. And from here, you have to change the direction here. So this would be the horizontal. So now you can have the button here. I can see here. So now this is looking okay. So now we have created our header here. So now let's click on the update. And let's just go back to the WordPress dashboard. Alright, so now let's just visit our website here. And let's just have a look how our header is looking. Alright, so now you can see here, this is how our header is looking. But right now, this is not a sticky header. So how can you make this a sticky header? So for that, let's just go back to the dashboard. And as you can see here, we have installed the sticky menu. So we have to go inside the sticky menu from here. And from here, all you need to do is to provide the ID of the header here. So that would be the sticky header. Alright, so let's just copy this because we have to add this ID to our header as well. Right, so we have to save the changes here. And let's go inside the elements kit. Go inside the header and the footer. And let's just click on the edit with Elementor. And now what we need to do, we have to add the ID into our header. Alright, so let's just click on the edit container here. 
and go inside the advanced and now you have to write down the CSS ID here okay so let's just paste the ID that we have used in a sticky menu so now let's click on the update now let's just go back to our website and refresh the page now you will be able to see the sticky header here alright so this is how you can create the sticky header in WordPress Elementor if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel